Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you would like to add a recording of your computer screen with or without audio to a presentation, PowerPoint allows you to do this by using the screen recording command. This is helpful if you want to add a demonstration of a specific program into your presentation. To record audio associated with your screen recording, you must have a microphone, audio card, and speakers on your computer. The speakers will allow you to hear what you've recorded. To create a screen recording, click the Screen Recording button that appears in the Media Button group of the Insert tab in the ribbon. A pop-up box will appear on screen. Your first action will be to select an area of the screen to record. Click the Select Area button in the pop-up box. Your cursor will then turn into a crosshair. Click on the screen in the area that you want to be the upper left corner of the area to record. Drag your cursor to the area you want to be the bottom right corner of the area to record. A dotted rectangle will outline the area to be recorded on the screen. Anything displayed inside the outline will be recorded. The Audio and Record Pointer commands are automatically selected by PowerPoint. You can click either of these commands to turn them off before you start recording. Then open the program, video, or whatever it is that you want to record on screen and make sure that what you want to have recorded is contained in the red rectangle. When you're ready to begin recording, click the Record button in the pop-up box. You will be given a three-count countdown before your recording begins. When you have completed recording, click the large square that appears within the pop-up box to stop recording. You can also press the Windows logo key plus Shift plus the Q keys on your keyboard to stop recording. Your screen recording will then be displayed in the current slide you are working on as a new object. To save your screen recording, right-click the object and then choose the Save Media As command in the pop-up menu. A dialog box will then open. You can navigate to where you want to save the file. Then enter a name for the file into the File Name field and click the Save button to save the screen recording. You can now manipulate the screen recording as needed. It will act just like any other video file that you have inserted into a presentation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.